Good morning lemon. So as you can see it's a big big mess. I want to show you the aftermath of yesterday. Um, so here we have one pint of Ben Jerry's left. I wasn't able to finish this one. It's even sealed. I wasn't able to uh, open it even. Then if I walk over to my bedroom because that's where oh, I have to clean that. Oh my god what is this? Is this like junk from underneath my feet and underneath my cat's feet? Ew. <laughs> that's better so let's walk over to my bedroom so nine out of ten times this is the aftermath of binge a pile of clothes i just undress and just threw them on the ground then right here it's also a big mess <laughs> don't mind that bottle by the way don't mind this this is nothing okay forget that okay so take two <laughs> Yeah, this is the aftermath. Um, I've got a bottle of Fanta right there. I have this box full of um, wrappers and stuff. So I did clean up a little bit. When I eat and everything gets like a big mess, it's like, eh, I want it to be organized a little bit. So these look like candy. Um, maybe it is candy, but I eat those for my throat. They help. Then over here, I have this packet of like this Kinder chocolate. Didn't open it. Didn't eat any. Um, yeah, it just was too full. Then I murdered all of these things, so I ate them all. I finished most of these things. I have this thing with like the Christmas uh, thingies. I did eat like four or five of them, but uh, this stuff is really, really sweet and it did hurt my throat. And then inside of here, there are more wrappers. Oh, no, there aren't any wrappers. There is this donut. It's one of the cream-filled donuts. I have to say, I didn't like them too much. They were also a little bit dry, so, um, yeah. But this is everything that's left over. Now I'll show you how I, yeah, how I pick up the day after a binge. First of all, I'm going to clean my surroundings because it's a new day. I don't want to be stuck in yesterday. Normally I do this after binging, but yesterday after binging I just fell asleep right away. So these are all my wrappers. I am going to get rid of those. Let's just dump it all in here. Goodbye to this donut. So that's done and now with the rest of the food. I also cleaned the piles of clothes. This is what's left. I'm going to put the Fanta in my fridge. I can drink that. It's a low calorie option so I do not mind the Fanta too much. Since these things are opened I am going to put them in a resealable bag. Is there anything else I can just clean and organize? Cleaning and organizing just helps me a lot so when I start my day with that it's just um, something that makes me happy and also something that just makes me have like a fresh start of the day. Okay, this is quite hard with not seeing where it has to go. I also made my bed and I'm also going to just have some fresh air in here for like five minutes. <laughs> my cats know that I'm going to do this and they're like, please let us out already. Oh, <laughs> be careful, you little fat cat. Yeah? No? Yeah, <laughs> go. There's Mokker. By the way, Mokker means friend in Dutch or companion or whatever. The reason that this part of my bed is huge is because there are two pillows underneath here for my cats. <laughs> my cats are so spoiled. Then I'm going to grab the leftover foods. I'm going to take these away. Now I have this clean bedroom again. It's neat. It's just like this fresh start. I'm going to dump my leftover stuff, like sweets, in my bag. At this point, I do not know what I'm going to do with them. I think I'm going to place them in my uh, storage room. But of course, there's also this jar of ice cream. And um, yeah, I don't know what to do with it, really. Let's hang that here so I won't forget it. Don't mind my head. <laughs> I haven't showered in two days and I still feel sick. I will go get a shower today, by the way. This is hard. Because right now I'm like binge free for a week and I binged yesterday. So right now I am like, okay, I've binged, but just get back on the horse. If this would be my binge period, there would be a big chance that I just would grab the food again and just continue binging. Like that would be my breakfast probably, the leftovers. During my binge period though, I did try to also start fresh every day. It's something that really, really, really helps me and still helps me. So that's why I just cleaned out everything, feeling a little bit more positive and less depressed also helps a lot because um, if you're just too depressed you're like yeah whatever I don't give a f but if you're able to do this I can highly recommend this um, I still don't know what I'm going to do with the foods I'm not going to throw them away um, 
I don't like to waste food or money. So yeah, but this is how I start my day and something that I also wanted to talk about. Normally I would definitely, definitely skip uh, breakfast because I would be like, yeah, what the fuck? I did binge yesterday, I ate like... I don't even know. I'm not going to think about that. But I would skip breakfast and right now I am going to eat breakfast. That's also one of the things that has really, really stuck out to me. Like skipping your meals is just setting yourself up for failure because I will probably eat the rest of that stuff when I do skip my breakfast right now. So I am still going to make my breakfast shake and I'm going to just start this day as of now. Like I haven't binged in my mind, I just forgot about that. I'm going to start fresh and um, yeah, I'm just going to eat breakfast, lunch and dinner. I just hope you do not feel alone. Like binges happen even if you're doing good. Binges happen. Just try to pick it up again and I'm not saying that I'm not going to binge on that stuff. I'm not going to say that. I think I won't, but I don't trust myself with food right now. Just don't feel alone. Slip-ups happen. Have a short-term memory. Don't think about the binge yesterday. Just start fresh. Don't skip any meals. And um, yeah, have a nice day, Lemons. And thank you for watching and listening to me while I'm looking like this. Yeah. <laughs> so, bye, Lemons. That's a chicken bone. <laughs> Pistach. You're the night sky trying to make me see your stars. The dark gets only now. I see violet. I can feel silent. Hey, Lam Fem. So it is December 10th, and I am cooking right here. I do not feel like cooking today, but um, yeah, I did bench two times this week, so I do want to eat healthy again and pick up where I left. So right here I have some olive oil in a pan. I just cut up some chicken and I'm going to spice it. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to dump it in my pan. I'm going... Oh, <laughs> not again with this cup. Stay there. I am going to grab this spoon. I love this spoon. And I'm just going to cook my chicken. My chicken has been cooked and I'm just going to add this whole thing of like this Italian mix of veggies. Like I said, really, really easy meal. I covered this with a lid and now I'm just going to let this do its thing for a few minutes. Over here I have some gnocchi. I am going to prepare that with a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of butter. These things are just going like, you have to bake them and then they're ready. Yeah, that's just a very, very easy meal for me. Um, on days like this where I'm like, me. To be honest, I do have a lot of me days lately. <laughs> I know. I almost forgot, I am also going to put in these olives, because I love olives, every now and then. <laughs> and for a sauce I'm going to pour in half of this thing of pesto, and that's it. Dinner is almost done, this will be for two portions, and then this is uh, for one portion. The rest of my gnocchi I have saved that in one of my cupboards for later this week. So this is what my meal looks like, and bon appetit. Hey Lamfem, so it's still the same day. I still haven't combed my hair yet. I still have a sore throat. I have been sick for almost two weeks. Like I don't have a fever anymore, but I still feel sick. And I was going through my like medicine cabinet to see if I had any like throat stuff. <laughs> like those little candy type of things that you can uh, just uh, suck on to better your throat but I do not have any. So I'm just going to make a cup of tea for myself. I don't drink tea that often. Why? Good question. I don't know why. I just have to do it more often. I just have to make some time for myself more often. So I am going to drink this one. It's like the caramel vanilla flavor. Our uh, packets, like from this brand, Pickwick, it comes with this question on the um, little tiny label. And I wanted to do this question together. So this one says, you cannot see it very well, but you just have to trust me for it. This says, um, are you superstitious? Am I superstitious? I am not superstitious, uh, no. But I hope to believe that there is something like karma, but I do not really believe in it. Like bad things happen to good people and good things happen to people who, are making a lot of mistakes and sometimes that's very frustrating to see but you know it doesn't matter we all should just focus on our own lives and um yeah that's what i believe so i am not superstitious no so let's pour some hot water in here i do hope that this is going to make my throat feel a little bit better um yeah we'll see 
Hey guys, so it's the next day and I still haven't combed my hair <sighs> about yesterday. I had a good day. At the end of my evening, I ordered pizza. I ordered two of them. I ate one and a half pizza with four of these little tubs uh, of sauce. And I also ate six um, chicken wings, drumsticks, whatever, six pieces of chicken with it. It's not something I like to binge on, but I was desperate. All stores were closed. I'm going to throw away all my pizza boxes. I also have half a pizza left. I'm going to throw that away too. I don't like wasting food, but like, yeah, um, I'm just going to throw it away. I feel like I've gained like a hundred pounds because of the pizza yesterday. Yesterday was again a really sad one because I was just desperate enough to order pizza. I am just going to not think too much right now. I'm just going to dress, go to the store, and after that I will make plans for the rest of my day. Um, so yeah, I'll talk to you later, guys. Hey, mucker. <laughs> By the way, guys, I have to show you this. My lemon tree is not doing that well. I watered it this morning, but look at all those leaves that are falling off. I do not know what's wrong with it. Like, all the leaves are getting yellow, so I think I overwater it. Or maybe I underwater it. It also may be that this pot is just too small. This is from four days ago. This is from yesterday. The rest of the bones my cat had, they like licking those things. And I read on the internet that that's okay. Here's half my pizza, like double pepperoni, and this is a spicy chicken one. There's a cup of sauce left, some more sauce left. Like I said, I'm just going to throw this all away. Let's just get rid of all my binge evidence right here. Stewy. <laughs> So my kitchen is clean again and oh, that feels so nice to just have all those pizza boxes and junk laying around just to get rid of that. I still have to do some dishes, but that's for later. <laughs> Stewie, what are you doing? Oh my god, you can see how dirty my window is. <laughs> I never washed my windows, ever. And I live here for like almost five years. So let's dump this into the bin. Bye, pizza. So they brought in all the Christmas stuff. I'm trying not to look at it, but um, yeah, you can really avoid it. But what I wanted to say, when I was like 14, 13, 14, this was something I would eat every year. I would just buy one and eat it whole. Luckily, I'm not that tempted, so let's go. Wow, so yesterday evening I ordered pizza for like 26 euros and then this whole bag, like it's quite a big bag and this was like 19 euros and something. So wow, I know how to spend money. And I do not mean on these healthy groceries. I know how to spend money on junk. Just a quick grocery haul, some mushrooms, some baby wipes, some parmigiano reggiano cheese, some fanta, some milk. These are like the only liquid calories I drink. Normally I just drink water, I drink this with my morning shakes and then... This is just a treat, a few zips a day. A half loaf of bread, Brussels sprouts, potatoes, some tomatoes, some bigger tomatoes because I'm going to make lasagna. This thing with peeled tomatoes, some garlic, yogurt, some of these things, beets, I think, red beets, and some bananas. And that's it. So it is 4.20 p.m. <laughs> and today I ate my breakfast shake. I ate this thing. I ate this earlier. I totally forgot about lunch. So right now I I, f I don't know. I just don't feel like making lunch. I feel ugh. I just want to skip lunch, but I am trying to not do that. So I'm just going to eat an apple. <laughs> I know it's stupid, but I'm quite happy that I have talk myself into eating an apple instead of nothing so just wanted to let you know that